captive, she says. <laughs> also, those guys that do the unbearable songs are the Stoopheads. That's a real group from San Francisco that does a whole show of songs that you can't stand to hear, but you're embarrassed because you remember them, stuff from the 60s and 70s, like these boots are made for walking and the hustle, and they do them note perfect. It's, it's unbearable. The crowds at their concerts yell, less, less. <laughs> All right, I want to remind you that next week is kind of special. The Movie Channel will be having a 48-hour Oscar marathon where every movie we show is a flick that's won an Academy Award. And so you may be wondering what we have on drive-in theater. And the answer is Total Recall, starring Arnold the Barbarian. And the second feature is Destination Moon, a spaceship movie that came out in 1950 and won a lot of special effects Oscars because it was so realistic. It's about this trip to the moon and... 18 years after it came out, when we did go to the moon, it looked almost exactly like they describe it in this movie. They even got the weightlessness motion exactly right. It's pretty amazing to watch this flick today, knowing it was made in 1950. Okay, right now, though, it's time for Joe Bob's Advice to the Hopeless, the old drive-in mailbag, and this letter came in from Jim Daly of Springfield, Missouri. Dear Joe Bob, you a letter to let you know that your influence has spread beyond the confines of the good old USA. I am a recently returned naval reservist from Operation Desert Storm. I was stationed at Naval Fleet Hospital No. 6 located in the island country of Bahrain. As our fighting forces kicked ass and took names, things were boring at our hospital from thankfully very few patients. So I took it upon myself to check out the local Delmon Cinema in Awali, Bahrain. Of course, it required sneaking off the compound and mixing with locals at great personal risk to me if our CO found out. Of course, you're screwed now because I'm reading this on TV. I went every night for one week and reviewed the movies on the enclosed movie schedule. I thought this selection most likely had been selected by you just in case some U.S. servicemen should sneak in. And they were pretty, pretty hot movies. The rating system differs. Any Hooter shots over there mean, mean an automatic X. Unfortunately, Police Women Anti-Prostitution Squad, that's the name of the movie, was cut badly. It may have been deliberate. On second thought, it, 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 it was an Italian director. Woman in Fury lived up to at least your three-star rating, 32 Hooters, 17 at least dead bodies, and two poison snake bites. The local Arabs loved it. Well, Joe Bob, I thought you would be pleased to know that the drive-in is alive and well in Bahrain. Sincerely, Jim Daly. All right, Jim, thanks for that heartening report on drive-ins in Bahrain. I just hope that that copy of Police Women Anti-Prostitution Squad that you saw had the midget windsurfing in there. Sometimes they cut that out because it's considered pornography in certain parts of the Arab world. And if you've got anything to talk to me about, want to request some movies, get free junk in the mail, or a copy of my world-famous We Are the Weird newsletter, then drop me a line here at the Movie Channel mailbox, P.O. Box 1264, Radio City Station, New York, New York, 10101, and I'll get back to you. Okie doke. Coming up, Frankenhooker. If you hadn't seen this one, where you been? It's so disgusting that the MPAA ratings board wanted to rate it S for shit. That's what they said. I'm not kidding. The distributor wanted to sue them because they made that remark. But story of this kid from Jersey whose girlfriend gets chewed up by a runaway lawnmower and so he saves her head in his garage and then he goes over to 42nd Street and feeds killer crack to hookers so their heads will explode and he can collect all the body parts and use them on his girlfriend. But I don't want to give it away. It's a love story. 27 breasts, 35 breasts if you count the ones... Never mind, that's too gross. 14 dead bodies, exploding heads, brain in a jar, starring Patty Mullen, the former penthouse pet of the year, as Frankenhooker. And I hope we have the unrated version, but you never know around this place at Dimwits here. Check it out, and then I'll be back one more time. And L Louise Lasser is in this movie, too. 900-pound Louise Lasser. Whoa! Frankenhooker, the last word in body parts. We're all together again, says Jeffrey at the end. That was James Lorenz in the lead role. Great performance. That's one of the most popular movies we show here on the channel. Written and directed by the man who was my guest here just a couple weeks ago, Frank Henenlotter of Greenwich Village, New York City. I'm sorry to say I have a communist alert here tonight. The concession stand and projection booth of Vallejo Auto Movies, which is on Benicia Road in Vallejo, California, 
which is a drive-in strategically located in between three cemeteries. That drive-in has been gutted by a suspicious fire. Now, it was already up for sale, allegedly, because one of the screens fell down. And this shows you what negative thinking can do, because two screens are still standing up. So what's the big deal? Get that thing open again. Kevin Dill and Brett Grandrath, two guys from Vallejo, remind us that without eternal vigilance, it can happen here. All right. That's it for me. I got a joke. It was sent in by one of our dirty-minded viewers. John Rush of Glendale, Arizona sent this in. Three nuns walking along the street. First nun is describing with her hands these enormous grapefruit that she saw in Florida. Second nun uses her hands to describe the huge bananas that she saw in Jamaica. Third nun is deaf. She says, Father who? Joe Bob Briggs reminding you that the drive-in will never die. What's wrong with that? Are you Catholic or something? <laughs>